everybody, it's Kurt with Two Brothers Hobby, and we're here with Suzanne Lapine with High Tech. Hi, and, everybody. And Multiplex. High Tech and Multiplex, it's true. And you have a bunch of new products coming out. A bunch of new products. This is actually, we're very excited now, did you introduce these in Nuremberg, or is, is this like the big unveiling? Some of them were introduced in Nuremberg, but not, not all of them. So we are special. You're very special. <laughs> Toledo is special. And of the Week Signals. Well, this is a big air show. So. Yeah, it's yeah. huge. So, so you, tell us a little bit, we'll kind of go through category if you want. Sure. Radio, you got some new radio system stuff coming yes, out. Yes, actually our flagship Aurora 9 now has an even better addition to its family, the Aurora 9X. It's our triple protocol radio, okay. which allows from the G1 and G2 adaptive frequency hopping spread spectrum technology that already exists with us, but also the SL2 2.4 gigahertz technology, which is new. And that's interesting because there's uh, there's actually a lot of, of um, transmitter-ready planes that come out or aircraft that come out that are SLT. That's correct. Are they, is it compatible with the other SLT products? Yes, okay. it is. So that's you know we basically wanted to broaden that technology, and we've done so with the Aurora 9X. Very cool. It's probably going to be available on, in July, so it's kind of a midsummer release. Okay. But it also has. Uh, it features dual processors for fast, low latency response, mm -hmm. and it has an ultra smooth 4096 resolution, which is an amazing difference. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So now that's actually a step up from the current Aurora 9. It is. Yeah. I mean, the Aurora 9 stands on its oh, own. Not, not it's to take a shot at the Aurora 9. wonderful. <laughs> but this one is definitely going to be something for the people who really want that tight response. It's just a little bit more of a step up. There's some helicopter programming in it as well that I think is going to appeal amazingly to the helicopter market. It goes a little further than the current Aurora 9. Right. That's great. Well, along with the Aurora 9X uh, come the new receivers, the Maxima 9 and the Maxima 6. Obviously, the 6 is the 6 channel, the 9 is the 9 channel receiver. They're compatible only with the Aurora 9X. Okay. But they're amazing receivers and they, they're low latency receivers, basically. Okay. So, in the backup on the Aurora 9X and with the new Maxima receivers, um, this is the Generation 2 AFHSS. That's not in the current Aurora 9, is that correct? Is that why no, it's so the, unique? No, the Aurora 9 has the G2. Okay. It does. It's the SLT protocol that makes the gotcha. difference. Okay. Yeah. So these are running uh, just on the SLT, or they also do H, the second generation AFHSS? They are, they're only going to be on the um, SLT. Okay. We wouldn't be high tech if we didn't introduce some new servos. And this year we have two new analog servos. Mm -hmm. They're nano feather servos, okay. the HS40 and the HS53. Very economical, high performance. I think they're going to be great sellers. Economical, what's the, what's the price range? On them? Basically $8.50 to $9. Oh, geez, yeah. It's yeah. very affordable. Really nice. You also have some other big servos that you yes. guys are just releasing. We saw on the, on the, uh, the bench, the the display. Yes, on our display. We're very excited about these. Okay. Now, they're definitely high end. Mm -hmm. Our 8000 series, which are the high resolution ultra response servos, and they're going to be also geared for more of the helicopter market and the car market. Not that they can't be used in giant scale planes, mm -hmm. but I I really feel that the market is going to be more towards the helicopter people who love who really need that fast response and the, high torque, and, yeah. and the cars. So okay. it's good for the surface and for heli. I am very excited as well, Kurt, to tell you about our 9000 series. There are brushless servos that come with the Newcastle brushless motor, titanium gears, and an ultra-precise servo technology. Okay. They also will come with a 25-2 spline, as well as our 8000 series. Which is a lot, lot tougher, a lot yeah. more rugged. Okay. Yep. I know you've been talking about the 9000 series for a while now. You're pretty excited about them coming out. So. Absolutely. Yep. And now we've expanded the line. So there is going to be, let's see, six six servos. We started out with three. Okay. And it's expanded to six. So we've really hit the nail on the head with the technology. Yep. We're excited to bring them to market because we're, people have been anticipating it for a while. Oh, yeah. We're looking to try them out in a heli, in a heli application, too. Yeah. So. so we've covered radio systems, covered new servos. Yep. Um, chargers. Yes. Uh, the X4 series has been madly popular for you guys. Phenomenal. There's a lot of people that use them, the quad port, it's just handy, everything else. Right. What do you have on the charger side? You have another, a new four port charger that you we just do. released. We okay. do. The H4 charger is our new DC-DC four port computer controlled battery charger. So four independent 120 watt charge circuits that are able to deliver eight amps of charging power per port. Excellent. I also noticed a, um, a little tiny touch screen one. 
Yes, that's the X1 Touch. That's new. It's a it's a nice portable little charger, and it brings it's like 65 watt, I think, isn't it? I believe uh, I no. I think it's a uh, no. It's 55 watt, I believe. 62 watts. <laughs> Let's just cut it right down the middle. 62 and a half. It's 55. 55 All watt. right. Okay, we'll stick with 55. We're sticking with 55. What else do you have in a charger power supply side? We do have the ePower uh, 30 amp power supply. Okay. And that just. I think that will be available in the next month or two. Okay. So, you know, we're just trying to, with the expansion of the charger line, create a power supply that can be brought along with it. Although many of our chargers are ACDC and don't require a power supply, half of them do. So why not provide it to the public, right? Absolutely. And what else do you have to talk about other than, come on, new planes? I know, new planes. That's why we're here, right? That's right. Well, on the multiplex side of things, we have the new Soleus, which is our new glider. And it has a high-performance brushless power system, a clear molded canopy, which is really just a nice, with a detailed cockpit interior, which mm -hmm. just makes it a little bit more fun and exciting. And it has an innovative tubular spar technology, okay. which is really nice. It comes available in a kit and a receiver ready. Excellent. So, Yes, we're all about planes as well as servos, right? So our right. new line of planes is called the Weekender line. You'll yeah. love this, Kurt. A full, full line. Full line. Out. We actually have five planes in the line. Okay. There's an extra 300S. 3D, as, yeah. Yeah, and as well as two gliders, the Boreas 1.2 and the 1.5. Okay. Obviously the 1.5 having a bit of a larger wingspan. Sure. Uh, the E-Hawk guy is also available. That's We have the Hawk guy plane available, mm -hmm. but yep. now it has an electric power system with it, Okay, which is okay. really nice. So now, it just people are going to ask, they're, they're going to be curious, with it being multiplex high tech, how much of the weekender line is actually multiplex aircraft that's going to be going into it, or is it going to be kind of exclusive to high tech? Except it's exclusive to high tech, okay. but it does come with the EPO foam air construction, the airframes. Okay. Okay. So, or the EPO foam construction airframe. Uh, Elapor? Or not Elapor? It's not Elapor, it's okay. EPO. Gotcha. All except for the e Hawkeye. Okay. And capping off the line is our Zipper, which is a great, easy to hand launch, does great lunchtime sport aerobatics, as okay. I said. Sport aerobatics, okay. So the total of five coming out this season? Total five coming out. Should be, well, midsummer. Okay. And they're all going to be uh, receiver ready, so you need transmitter and receiver? All, all receiver ready, okay. yes. Perfect. Well, thanks a lot for taking a few minutes with us and talking about your new goodies, new Thank wares. You. They'll be out this summer, pretty yeah. much everything by this summer? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. And where do people go to check out the information? You can go to our website at hightechrcd.com. Perfect. Or feel free to call our customer service people at any time. And that number is? 858-748-6948. Oh. oh, couldn't put you on the spot. Well, thanks a lot, Suzanne. Thank you, Kirk. I'm Kurt with Two Brothers Hobby. And I'm Suzanne with High Tech. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.